Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And today I'm here to tell you about the 2018 Vintage Cruiser 17 RWD. It's a nice lightweight trailer, great couples coach, under 3,000 pounds. It has that great vintage look and all the modern amenities. Let's go ahead and start up front here. We'll talk a little about the outside features and then we will head on in. Right here's your power tongue jacks, just a flip of a switch to raise and lower that. You also have a light here in case you're hooking up or disconnecting at night, and you have an additional light right over here. Behind that are your two 20 pound propane tanks with a cover. Very easy to access those tanks, just undo the thumb screws, lift up the door, and you can get right down in there. And then right over here is your, are, are the rails for your battery box there, and underneath is a tube for your sewer hose. Coming up the front is your diamond plating which helps protect the front end from rocks and debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. That way it doesn't beat up and scratch up your beautiful fiberglass front end here. Speaking of the fiberglass in the front end, this is one piece fiberglass from the front all the way up on the roof and down the back. That has a couple of advantages. One, uh, it helps prevent any kind of water intrusion because generally you have seams that are going across. Anytime you have a seam or a hole in your roof, that's one more opportunity for water to get in. So less seams is definitely better. So by having that one piece, that helps protect against that. And you'll also notice the natural curvature of the roof. So your rainwater naturally wants to run, wants to, run to the front and back, where again, you don't have those seams going across. Right over here on the sidewall is your ZAMP solar prep. So if you want solar, all you have to do is buy the portable ZAMP panels, plug them in right here, and it will begin to trickle charge your battery. You have the slam latch baggage doors on the outside, also magnetic latch. You can take a look in there, see your pass-through storage. So, you know, a decent amount of storage in there. Right here is a power awning. Again, this is what I love about the Vintage. You know, it has that, uh, the Vintage Cruiser has that Vintage look, but you have the power tongue jack, the power awning, you have things that just make camping easy. So just touch a button to have this roll out, same thing to go right back in. You'll see that LED light strip that is underneath it, so if you want light outside, you don't have to hang up your Christmas lights. And then you also have two external speakers there that are built into the uh, head of the awning itself. That way when the awning is rolled out, the music is playing down on top of your campsite, not out at your neighbors. If you want to watch some TV while you're camping, not an issue. Right here is your TV mount. So what you can do is inside there's an arm that you actually can remove, bring that out, it goes right in here. That way you can watch the TV, just carry it around with you. And then it'll hook up right over here, cable goes there, electrical outlet right here. I apologize for the wind folks, if it's picking it up on the mic, it is certainly a windy day today. Uh, right down here, take a look at that. You have the white walls there. It's pretty uh, cool looking, again, having that vintage look. There is a cover that covers all this up, so it looks a lot nicer. Uh, we just haven't put it on yet. But I do want to show you right here that that is an easy lube axle, which is better for maintenance, makes life a little bit easier on you. You also have nitrogen uh, filled tires on this RV. Two steps to get into the coach as well as a grab handle here, uh, so that way you have a little bit better grip when entering or exiting the RV. When you come around to the back side, a couple quick things I do want to hit on. One, you have this nice rear picture window. Uh, this is where your dinette is in this couch, we'll see that when we go inside. So if you have a nice view out the back, maybe you have lakefront or oceanside or you know you have an end campsite where it's just woods behind you. This really lets you enjoy that view. You can sit there at the dinette, have your cup of coffee, your breakfast, and look out the window. Then right up top here, this is a backup camera prep. It is a little bit you know, shorter coach here, but if you want a backup camera, just for the ease of use, it is a lot easier to have it installed seeing as it is already prepped. Welcome to the inside of the 2018 Vintage Cruiser 17 RWD. This particular model has the crimson red interior, and this one also has the woody package. That's why you saw the wood panels on the side here. It also gives it a little more of a cabin look and feel on the interior. Let's go ahead and start right on the back here. Uh, this is what I showed you when we were outside, this nice big window there. You can see the dinette, as I mentioned, it's right across the back, so it's perfect for you know sitting here and playing a game together, having a meal together, or enjoying a cup of coffee and being able to look out that back window. You'll also see you have windows on both sides to allow for a great cross ventilation. This back window here opens as well. 
Now this table does drop down into a bed if you need that extra sleeping capacity, and that's quite simple to do. You just go ahead and tuck these legs up, it'll sit right along these rails, fill it in with these back cushions, and then that will create your sleeping space. Also behind this cushion right here, if I pull this out, you can see you have a nice hidden cubby hole right there. That's great extra storage, you know? And again, you put that cushion there, no one even knows what's back there. Plus you still have this nice shelf right there up top. Uh, right along the top here, you see you have good storage there on both sides. And again, as I said, you have modern conveniences. This is another example of that. This is your radio, CD, and DVD play, uh, player. They did already wire this over to the TV. So if you do wanna watch a movie, all you have to do is throw your DVD right in there. Plenty of lighting over here at night as well. You can see you have a wall sconce there on both sides. Uh, you have this light right here, some nice adjustable lighting. You'll also see the LED lights going across the ceiling. Vent fan here too, so again, you know, you want that great uh, airflow coming through here, you can open that guy up. Uh, or, you know, if it gets too hot, of course, you can run the AC. Right underneath here is your fuse box as well as the furnace. And up above that is the Dometic fridge-freezer combo. You can see you have good amount of space in there. Nice little drop-down freezer here as well. This unit does run off bro both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. I also like how they put the red panel here. It's kind of neat. Again, just helps give it that whole vintage look and feel. Moving further into the kitchen, uh, you know, you don't have huge countertop space here, but they do maximize it by giving you the dual sink top covers as well as the cooktop cover here. Um, the, these are, of course, our different size bowls. You have a larger bowl on the left, smaller here on the right. Never mind the pink stuff there. It's just for winterization. It's how it came from the factory. Uh, right up top is your high-rise faucet. Aids in doing dishes. Right there, of course, is your window, which again lets in natural light during the day. And then you have an LED light right up here for night. Uh, what you'll also notice is you have an electrical outlet here, as well as dual USB ports. So if you need to plug in a coffee maker or cell phone, that is where you can do it. Now, as I mentioned, this cover right here, this does fold back nice and easily. You can see it folds just like so. Cool thing about this, it kind of doubles as a backsplash here because, uh, you know, the stainless is a lot easier to clean than your wood panel behind there. But that'll reveal your three burner uh, Atwood cooktop, the front one being high output. Right underneath here is your oven. In case you want to do some baking, you have the capability to do that. And underneath the oven, you do have some additional storage right down there. You'll also see two uh, drawers here. So, you know, nice big drawers, plenty of room for uh, your silverware, everything else you need there. And this drawer here, same thing. Of course, there's some batteries in there, but this is a nice big drawer right there. If we take a look up top, you have your stainless steel hood with a light and fan, microwave right here. And then take a look at this. This is a big storage area, perfect for uh, your pantry. You know, some of your bigger food items you can store them right in there. You do have this little space up top too, you know, mainly for knickknacks. It's not super easy to access, but uh, you know, if you want to put a couple decorations up there, by all means, you can do that. Uh, LED lights again on the ceiling here. This is the AC unit, as I mentioned. So if it does get too hot, go ahead and turn that guy on. Uh, we'll check out the bathroom in just a second, but first let's go ahead and take a look at the front. So right here is your bed. You know, I, again, I love the fact they give you this, uh, the vintage comforter here as well as the pillows and the shams there really gives it that authentic feel. Right up top here, you can see you have uh, some, good, some good storage there going all the way across the top. Underneath, you have the directional reading lights. These uh, also can become blue if you want some accent lighting or you can have your standard lights there for reading. Then right over here on this side, you do have some hanging wardrobe storage, so you have a place to hang clothes. Right here is your TV mount. As I mentioned, this is the one that comes off, so you can take that right outside, you know, just have your TV right on there. Um, you know, it is a, an arm as well, so this does come out. You can change directions if you want to, you know, change it so you have a better viewing angle while you're in bed. Then all your connections for it are right up here. These are audio video cables that are hooked up to that DVD player. So again, if you wanna watch a movie, just pop it in, run your cables from here right into your TV and you're good to go. In the bathroom here, you'll see you have the foot flush lover toilet, plenty of leg room all the way around. Nice cutout right there, a good size cubby hole, so plenty of space for a smaller trash can. And it also allows for a nice big countertop. Uh, you'll see some storage underneath the sink. And then if we go up above, you have a mirrored medicine cabinet with additional storage. 
Take a look at the size of this vent fan. When you want moisture to leave the bathroom quickly, you have a nice big oversized vent fan there. So I do like the fact they uh, put that in here. If we take a look at the shower, this unit is plenty large. You have a shelf there, a hand wand, and you have a curved shower rod to give you a little bit more space. But all right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2018 Vintage Cruiser 17RWD. This particular model is in the uh, crimson red interior and has the woody package. If you're interested in this RV and you'd like price and availability, I recommend you give us a call here at American RV, or you can take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.